What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another jailbreak video. I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 14.5 and use Odyssey Rain Installer to install Cilio and Libhooker. Now this is a little bit different than my previous Check Rain jailbreak guide where I showed you guys on the 7 Plus how to get Check Rain and install Cydia. So when you install Cydia, you get uh, Substrate or Substitute, I forget which one it's using, but one of those two. And uh, it is different. With this style, you will get Cilio and Libhooker. Now I've never really mentioned this in video, but my personal favorite jailbreak is Check Rain. But I'm not a fan of Cydia, and I'm not a big fan of uh, Substitute, and that's just personal preference. Like I said, this kind of stuff comes down to personal preference and whatever you like. So if you like Cydia, um, then that's the best option for you. But for me, I like running Check Rain with Libhooker and the Zebra Package Manager. That's just my personal preference. That's the ideal best jailbreak in my opinion. Now, of course, this is on iOS 14.5 and it also only supports iPhone 10 and older. So this is gonna be iPhone 10, 8, 8 plus, 7, 7 plus, etc. Basically, A11 chip and older. So if you're looking to jailbreak an iPad, just check Google and see which chip your iPad has. And if it's A11 or A10 or A9, etc., anything A11 and older, you are good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into settings here and I'm gonna back up and we're gonna go into general and about, and as you guys can see, I actually updated my iPhone 10 from iOS 14.3 to 14.5 for this tutorial. Um, but I feel totally comfortable with check rain being updated. I always have access to my Mac. Uh, this is a semi tethered jailbreak, meaning if you reboot your phone, you will have to come back to your computer to boot it back up. I also want to quickly mention that this is for Mac and Linux. You can do this with, I believe it's called Odyssey Nix, where you um, basically flash, um, use a USB flash drive and you can put Odyssey Nix on it and you can boot your Windows computer up with Linux and use it that way. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have a Windows computer, otherwise I would do a tutorial for you guys, but I, I just don't have a Windows computer and it's not important enough for me to go spend a few hundred on just a Windows laptop for one single tutorial. So I do apologize. Uh, like I said, this is going to be basically the Mac tutorial that you guys are watching here. So we're going to go ahead and jump over to the computer. And uh, as you can see, we are on CheckRain's official jailbreak website. I will leave the link for this down in the description. Uh, actually, hold up. Let's jump back to the iPhone. There's one thing we want to do here. So uh, before we do the jailbreak process, and just because I have this link open in Safari, we want to install Odyssey Rain Installer. We're going to be using shortcuts to do this. So it's a little bit different than using like Beetlejuice. I covered that application uh, and how to use that previously. So this is kind of a new method and it's actually really cool. So we're just going to do a get shortcut. I'll leave the uh, shortcut link in the description as well for you guys. So you can get um, Odyssey Rain Installer. We'll swipe to the bottom, add untrusted shortcut. I already have it. I'm just going to click on replace. Uh, so that way I do have Odyssey Rain Installer in my shortcuts ready to go before I do jailbreak it. So now we're going to come back to the computer and we are on the official uh, Check Rain jailbreak website. If you guys have any questions about anything, just check out all the information on this website. It'll tell you everything it does. Um, and you do still have to have the face ID and passcode disabled on A11 chip devices. So you do have to have that disabled still. It's not been fixed or updated yet. As soon as it is, I will do a video on it, obviously, but pretty much all of the information you need is on this website. It'll tell you everything you need to know um, in terms of the jailbreak and what you can use it with. So I would highly advise you guys to just read everything here. But what we're gonna do is download for Mac. It's gonna go ahead and jump into our downloads. We're gonna open our downloads and we're gonna run the check rain beta uh, dot DMG. So just click on it and you'll see that it's opening check rain. And now all we got to do is simply just drop it into our applications. I already have it. So I'm going to do replace. And now we have check rain on our Mac. Uh, and I do want to mention this is on the M1 Mac. I'm doing this on my M1 mini uh, that was updated and that's freaking awesome. So M1 Macs are now supported. Um, just a little bit of a side note there, but we're going to open up finder 
and then we're in our applications section here as you guys can see and you will see that check rain is there so just right click on it and then we're going to do open and you'll see it doesn't let us open it click cancel right click again open again and then we can open it now so click open and uh, let me go ahead and minimize that and now we are ready whoops now we are ready to jailbreak with check rain so we do need to uh, change some options here in the settings of check rain uh, we need to on the a11 chip devices turn on skip a11 bpr check if you guys are using an older iphone maybe like the 7 or the 7 plus or older uh, you don't need to turn that on so don't worry about that i like to turn on verbose boot it's just for being able to see the jailbreak happen on your device in real time i think that looks cool and of course if you guys are looking to jailbreak ios 14.6 beta which i wouldn't really recommend you guys to be doing right now you can turn this on and then you can jailbreak iOS 14.6. So just a little side note there, but we'll go back and we will have to connect it here. I'm not sure why it's not detecting my iPhone 10, but I'll just go ahead and replug it in. And there we go, it has detected it. So iPhone 10 GSM 14.5 connected, warning, blah, 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 we are good to go. So we're just gonna click on start here and it's gonna put our device into recovery mode. So click next again. And there you go, entering recovery mode. As you can see, my iPhone is uh, doing it now. So just be patient here. It will go into recovery mode and then we will have to manually put it into DFU mode. And I think a lot of people have issues with this. Um, I've done it so many times that it's easy for me, but basically what we need to do is we need to, um, it tells you right on screen here, uh, press and hold the side and volume down buttons together for four seconds. And then after four seconds, take your finger off the side button, but keep holding the volume down button. Um, and it'll kind of guide you through this. Just make sure that when you click start is right when you click the buttons, otherwise your timing is gonna be off. So as, as soon as you click start, you need to start holding those buttons. You can't wait two seconds um, because it's gonna throw the timing off. And if you follow the guide, it's gonna mess you up. I think a lot of people have issues with this. So I'm gonna have it in video for you guys so you can see the jailbreak and my hand and the button presses in real time so you can see how I do it. So what I like to do is just get my fingers in place uh, and then take my other hand and just click on start on the uh, start button. So we'll just do that now. And as soon as I click start, I start holding the buttons and then we'll hold. And now I'll release the side button, but keep holding that volume down button. And this should trigger DFU mode. And there we go, DFU mode was successful. And now this is when the jailbreak is gonna be injected into this phone. It's really cool how it works. Uh, so as soon as it starts doing some activity here, you guys will see the jailbreak uh, taking place on this iPhone. And I absolutely love Check Rain. I think that this is super, super cool. But yeah, this is verbose boot, if you guys are wondering. That's what it looks like when it's in verbose boot. Uh, pretty much just shows you the activity of the jailbreak while it's happening. Uh, basically shows you what it looks like when you're poning your device really really cool and that's it we're done and now with check rain it tends to be a little bit slow so as you guys will see here uh, there is no check rain yet just just be patient it usually takes like 20 to 30 seconds for check rain to show up on your home screen so like i said just be patient and there you go there is check rain now at this point, you do not want to go into CheckRain and install Cydia because if you do that, it's gonna install uh, Substitute and Substrate and that's not what we want to do. That's why we installed that shortcut at the beginning of this tutorial. So what I'm gonna do is go into shortcuts. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Odyssey Rain Installer. Again, the link for this shortcut is in the description. Just go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, we get a little written guide here. Odyssey Rain Installer, original idea by Dion, uh, that version by Yaya4, so shout out to those guys or girls. Uh, instructions, restore root file system, jailbreak, and run this shortcut. Um, so we'll click on done. Downloading resources, click on done. Odyssey reinstaller would like to access iCloud Drive, we'll click on OK. And then you select which version of iOS you're on. As you guys would know, CheckRain supports iOS 12 all the way up to iOS 14.5. So again, we'll click on iOS 14 and we'll give it access. I think this is super cool that we can install, um, 
you know, Cilio and, and Lib Hooker through shortcuts because I've done so much shortcuts coverage in the past couple of months that the, I thought that this was really, really cool. Like I said, there was a previous version um, and it was called Beetlejuice and you can use that on your computer, uh, but this is pretty neat. So it says bootstrapping. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to click done here. This is actually the first time I've ever used this. I'm just gonna click done. Please enter your root um, passcode. So default is A-L-P-I-N-E. We'll click done. So we'll do connect. Fingers crossed this, that this works first try. Like I said, I've never used it before, but it seems pretty straightforward from what I've read. And there we go. We just need to be very patient as it does this stuff. Don't exit the app. Don't click nothing. Make sure you're clicking on the shortcut notifications very accurately because I know if you click on the outside of it or something, it will cancel out the shortcut. So I probably should have read that big line of text, but I did not just click done. Let's see. I guess we'll wait like three, four more seconds if nothing happens. Then I'm going to assume it's done at that point. And uh, we'll just go ahead and take a look. And there's Cilio. So that did work. Let's go ahead and launch it. And it works. So we got Libhooker on here. Um, we got Cilio up and running on the check rein jailbreak. Like I said, from here, what I'm going to do is go ahead and install Zebra. I know people... Uh, for some reason don't like zebra but i absolutely love it and i love zebra with lib hooker on check rain that's just my favorite jailbreak combination on ios 14 i think it's the best combination uh the next combination for me if you guys are wondering for the newer devices would be taurine with lib hooker and zebra and then that's just yeah i mean that's just my preference that's just the jailbreak utilities i like those are the most stable for me the the best jailbreaks for ios 14 but that is how you're going to use Odyssey Rain Installer on Check Rain on 14.5. For those of you that want to run Cilio and LibHooker, hopefully you guys found this video useful. Again, all the links you'll need for everything will be down in the description. Um, and if you guys want to check out other jailbreak tutorials that I've done, again, the link is in the description for that if you guys want to see other stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.